uh, business intelligence in some BI, it may be in Azure Power BI or maybe in some other cases as Grafana. Uh, but all these stages uh, obviously uh, appear in each solutions. Uh, it's uh, rare data, uh, raw data is maybe from IoT as I said, the data storage in big data, the uh, model, the machine learning model or artificial intelligence model, and BI as a result. Uh, let's go further. Uh, on this slide, I uh, uh, want to talk about how we work with uh, uh, customer, with our uh, how we build our solution. Uh, first, when we recognize the customer needs, uh, we search uh, for the digital solution uh, which we have in our portfolio or in our vendor. Uh, but at all, uh, we don't have only one solution which exactly uh, solve all customer needs. Uh, in fact, we need to design some architecture which contains uh, a vendor solutions uh, or some other maybe customization of these solutions and build the architecture which we can provide to our customer. On this stage, uh, after the design of architecture, uh, we can uh, say uh, some word about costs and about uh, money. Uh, as a result, if uh, uh, this design approved by a customer, we make some deployment if uh, we use only one vendor and no uh, complicated architecture, it will be simple. We just uh, provide uh, vendor ability to our customer and deploy it. But on most cases, uh, we need to build some prototype, some MVP, minimum value product, in order to show customer uh, availability of this solution. Uh, after the deployment, uh, uh, the end user of the solution received a comprehensive product training. Uh, we can show to the, our customer how they can use this solution. And uh, at all, at last, we make some uh, training days, some educations uh, about our solution at ease, but also uh, our architects and uh, me, my, uh, myself, I uh, take part in a lot of hackathons and Olympiad, and some of these we win. Uh, on last year, we win the uh, Russian uh, digital hackathon all around Russia, uh, and uh, some Oli Olympiads we also win, and some we, uh, uh, some Olympiads we organize ourselves in order to search for the best solution. Okay, uh, let's go further. Uh, our uh, three uh, most values is uh, our experience as architect. We have IoT architect, uh, big data architect, uh, machine learning architects, it's me, uh, and uh, we are AR architect and computer vision architect. Uh, with all of this experience, uh, we can build uh, our prototype faster. With uh, agile approach, uh, we uh, build uh, faster MVP and we can give the first architect for days after the customer needs was recognized. Uh, and at all, uh, after the prototype was built, we have a processes uh, to develop solution, to uh, supply the solution and work with customer further. Uh, uh, on this table, uh, you can see uh, some expectation about time and costs of our solution in different areas. In IoT, A, Big Data, VR, and CV. Uh, on each solution, we work in manufacturing area, retail area, and finance. Uh, but also, we can use uh, pharma and agriculture. Uh, 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 let, let, let me uh, talk uh, some words about artificial intelligence. 
uh, artificial intelligence uh, is uh, uh, both uh, big data techniques and machine learning techniques when we apply machine learning methods to uh, big data. Uh, all of this uh, with some statistic approach, uh, we use the artificial intelligence uh, which can uh, solve the problem without uh, deeper uh, investigation of area. Uh, such as example, now we provide a solution for Russian big chemical factory uh, with artificial intelligence with our, our uh, product A-Line uh, without uh, any uh, a chemic scientist uh, on board only with data scientists uh, which uh, solve the chemic solutions uh, to predict uh, outcome of uh, uh, this uh, uh, factory with uh, data science solution. Um, as I mentioned before, uh, it's our solution A-Line machine learning platform. Uh, first, I need to talk that it's our own solution, uh, which we developed ourselves inside Softline Digital. Uh, the main idea of this solution is use the both uh, two things, uh, the uh, machine learning experience and the area experience. Uh, in order to achieve this, uh, we uh, build uh, a special uh, solution uh, when uh, technologist or scientist from uh, the customer, from customer factory, uh, can uh, put their processes, and uh, then the outcome of these processes, the uh, properties of these processes, can be predicted by the data, by the machine learning techniques. Uh, it uh, looks like a digital twin. But in order digital twin, uh, we have only visualization of current processes. And on this solution, uh, we can make some forecast, make some predictions for the future results uh, of the process. We can make what if analysis. Uh, and uh, with all of this knowledge, uh, we make uh, some recommendation services how the uh, control action uh, should be uh, appropriated, done. Uh, this is uh, our uh, big uh, project. Um, uh, right now we have uh, several pilots of this project. Uh, it's now uh, in real cases, in real factories. Uh, and uh, in uh, closest uh, weeks, uh, in the next months, uh, I, I think we provide uh, first the stable solution uh, we, which we can uh, use uh, and offer to our customers. But right now, we also can offer uh, uh, our uh, POC uh, proof of concept uh, work uh, in order to uh, provide these machine learning techniques. Uh, the solution uh, of uh, uh, A-Line, uh, uh, this is the case of this solution. Um, let me uh, provide you some uh, organization info. Uh, it's okay to ask some questions uh, during my presentation. If you don't understand something, or if you want uh, me to explain uh, some something more in details, uh, it's okay to ask me online. Okay. Uh, I hope we have a little bit time uh, by the end. But if you don't understand, or if you want to details now, it's okay to interrupt me. Uh, the first case is a chemical process forecasting and optimization, uh, as I mentioned before about eyeline. Uh, the main idea is to uh, forecast change, uh, changes in chemical composition. Uh, it's uh, uh, one of uh, cases of eyeline. It's a prediction of parallel laws uh, in uh, uh, metallurgy. The other case, uh, such as uh, also for uh, chemical process forecasting in eyeline, it's on oil industry. Also, uh, it's uh, oil chemical industry, the prediction 
of uh, methylene fluoride outcome uh, from the factory. Uh, as input, we took the reference books and the data from sensors on IoT, uh, as on my uh, first slide. As a result, a machine solution can first predict the uh, chemical uh, composition of outcome and second, make some recommendation. Is this case clear? Uh, can we go further? Okay. Uh, I'm happy with this case. Uh, let's go further. Uh, the next case uh, is uh, not about uh, a line itself. It's uh, about uh, other uh, opportunities, uh, and uh, it's about uh, bank and insurance scoring improvement. Uh, the main idea is uh, that uh, each bank and each insurance company uh, have uh, their own. Uh, insurance algorithms uh, which uh, score uh, each people uh, which they want to uh, provide some credit or insurance. Uh, but uh, with our techniques, uh, we can enrich these algorithms with additional data. Uh, there was uh, two uh, options. Uh, which we use uh, this solution. The first option, we just provide a secondary scoring, a, a secondary scoring opinion for underwriter or for uh, people who make a decision about uh, credit or insurance. Uh, we like a uh, duplicate uh, scoring algorithms. And the other uh, case is when we improve only uh, improve uh, scoring of current algorithms. On the input of uh, in our solutions, uh, we got the scoring from uh, current uh, bank or insurance company algorithms. Uh, we take some additional information, and as a result, we uh, can uh, give the suggestion: need this scoring uh, will be upside or uh, downgrade. Uh, as a result, uh, we got uh, these suggestions uh, were approved by underwriters, uh, and we can improve uh, receiver operation characteristic RND curve, ROCAUG uh, matrix uh, for uh, uh, this uh, case. Uh, it was uh, in banking and on uh, car insurance. Uh, are you happy with this case? Uh, is there some question? Okay, no question, I hope. It means that everything is clear. Uh, our next case is uh, power consumption uh, for recursion and optimization. Uh, there is also two cases. Uh, the first case is uh, to optimize uh, uh, power consumption uh, uh, by uh, some energy savings inside the processes. Uh, in this case, uh, we use on electric arc furnace in metallurgy to recognize uh, how much temperature, temperature uh, needed uh, for this process and optimize uh, energy uh, for each uh, temperature level, optimize temperature level for the uh, steel results, and therefore uh, to waste, uh, 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 to, to waste a uh, little bit energy. Uh, and the other case is to uh, uh, forecast the energy cost on each hours, and uh, with this forecasting for energy cost uh, for these hours, we can optimize the uh, manufacturing itself. Uh, uh, the next case is uh, 
uh, product schedule optimization. Uh, the main idea is to uh, it's a, a process mining a process mining area. Uh, process mining area is uh, uh, the explanation of this is that we have some processes. Some processes take a different time, and if we can uh, predict how much time each process actually have, we can optimize our schedule. Uh, it was a very big outcome uh, to the uh, customer when we got it, because uh, of it uh, was in volume, uh, the steel volume, uh, which, was, which was the bottleneck of all uh, of whole big uh, factory, and uh, the, this uh, the steel volume was a bottleneck and uh, there was need uh, to be optimized in a time area. Uh, and as a result, after our optimization, 12% uh, out, uh, output uh, were increased. Uh, and uh, we have the uh, choice in each case when you're optimizing the uh, schedule, uh, you can uh, the choice uh, on one hand uh, you have uh, the outcome increasing and the other hand uh, you have the collisions or some problems uh, which you have uh, if your time forecast uh, will be not good. Uh, as a result, uh, we have no collisions, no problems uh, and uh, outcome was increased. Uh, let, let me uh, go for go further. Uh, with some cases. The other cases is uh, predictive maintenance and repairs is the standard case also uh, in order to decrease uh, equipment downtime and uh, cost saving uh, for the assessment of uh, uh, some uh, uh, machines. Uh, we, uh, it's a standard case. I think I don't provide a lot of uh, good time for it. Uh, the other case is um, also for a line. It's a quality uh, quality control and prevention on flows. Uh, there we say it about uh, automatically identify visual defects and uh, then forecast defects uh, to in order to identify the sources. Uh, it was also it also in, it was in metallurgy. Uh, we a very big accuracy, 45 uh, percent uh, of defects we uh, really uh, predict because of uh, it, it was really hard defects and 12% uh, of all defects we can prevent because uh, of inappropriate stage we say to uh, steel maker to do appropriate actions. It, we do it uh, over both on metallurgy and on paper plant. Mm, uh, let me provide uh, information about our other uh, solutions. Uh, first, its uh, solution is about uh, uh, machine learning operation services. Uh, it's uh, like a development operation services, but in AI ML area. Uh, when uh, the customer, if, if the customer have uh, the ML department, this department should be appropriate controlled. Uh, the model uh, uh, should be uh, checked, uh, testing, and if the customer have a different cloud services or their own uh, calculate powers, um, this process uh, uh, should be uh, appropriately controlled. And uh, th th these services called MLOps, and we also provide the services uh, successfully to help uh, data scientist of our customer. Let me give you some case. Uh, this uh, case about AI driving business uh, to secure the uh, solution was to develop and deploy entirely with, with the client's secure Azure, uh, Azure client environment and uh, provide a customized model based state of the art. The state of the art of NLP uh, is uh, the uh, Google solution uh, that transformers uh, and uh, this uh, solution was provided to were provided to customers uh, in order to achieve their needs. 
Uh, on this case, we just support data scientists of our customers. We don't uh, do uh, some machine learning te techniques ourselves. It's about supporting data scientists. Uh, but the other case is when we uh, do uh, these techniques ourselves, it's about uh, visual recognition. Visual recognition in factories, in ground works. Uh, uh, the main idea is uh, to use drones, uh, to use uh, the uh, flying drones uh, to make a photo of uh, uh, some uh, landscape and build the three, uh, 3D model of this landscape. After building this uh, 3D model, uh, we uh, can uh, match this uh, actual model with the, our plan, with which we want to construct, uh, which we want to do with groundwork, and uh, with this satisfaction, uh, we can make uh, some uh, action. Uh, uh, let's go to the cases. Uh, the first cases is uh, uh, to monitor the construction. Uh, what was this? Uh, uh, there was uh, some uh, plans of uh, constructions, and some uh, and some of them uh, con were constructed in fact. Uh, after this UAV monitoring, uh, uh, the fact con uh, the fact uh, situation uh, was. Uh, Combine it with plans, and uh, the, our customer recognized which were, was really constructed and which is not. And what was problem uh, we solved? We solved the problem when the two sub subcontractors, two subcontractors, uh, asks the money for the same work, because of one subcontractor says that we build this building and the other, but uh, to recognize which work they was. Uh, without this solution, uh, there was no opportunity to do this. Uh, with this opportunity, we save a potential loss of one million dollars uh, uh, when we recognize that two subcontractors want money for the same work. Uh, with this uh, uh, combining uh, plans and facts. Uh, other uh, opportunity of these solutions is to monitor earthworks. Uh, the main idea is uh, uh, also to build a 3D model of the landscape and uh, then uh, calculate the amount of ground uh, which was uh, really uh, uh, taken uh, uh, from the something. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, the main is uh, calculate the amount of ground and then also you can build a 3D landscape and combine it uh, with your plans uh, in order to uh, recognize uh, w w what we actually do inside uh, uh, your construction or in inside your uh, work. Uh, let me go further. And uh, the uh, next case is uh, about uh, is also about us work. It's about uh, query roads uh, with this, uh, with uh, our three D landscape. We can model uh, the roads uh, in the query, and uh, therefore, uh, with this modeling, we can recognize some problems in the road. And after uh, our solution was actually used, um, uh, this, uh, uh, our customer can increase the speed of how trucks for 3% in the query and uh, uh, saving the roads repair. Because of with our solution, we can recognize the problems and repair with, when the problem is small. Uh, okay. Uh, it's all uh, uh, what, what I want to provide uh, for today. 
uh, if you have some questions, uh, you can ask me uh, about uh, previous cases, maybe. Uh, have you some question? Okay, uh, let me give uh, the word to Oleg Dannenberg. Yes, uh, thank you very much, Nikolai, uh, for presenting it. Uh, yes, uh, we have much more cases uh, and uh, different stories, uh, especially uh, like uh, from the perspective, for, for example, uh, implementing uh, AI ML in the finance and ins insurance and uh, also in, in various industries uh, from manufacturing and etc. Uh, there are some cases, for example, where AI ML is required for, let's say, for the projects where the Power BI implementation is going. So we have such cases, just such case going in uh, Eastern Europe with the, uh, with the client uh, Bori Capping, uh, and this is on the pre-sale stage. So th there is a, a lot of opportunity where, is, where AI ML can be uh, combine uh, with uh, with various other um, uh, projects, uh, uh, sorry, uh, so, um, uh, products and solutions. Um, and please feel free uh, to contact uh, me in direct because uh, uh, we have uh, a very big um, power, uh, the, the, uh, the developer power to use for the various projects. So in this moment we have about uh, seven, eight people who actually can perform implementations, and uh, this is the, the, I would say, the very, very uh, great team with experts and from various industries. So uh, I know that uh, you know it's not maybe so uh, great to uh, look at this uh, from the point when we had before computer vision or workshop, but uh, we all understand that actually IML uh, can be quickly uh, solved and. It's uh, it's it's also uh, uh, has a big demand. Yes, go ahead, Rishal. Yara, what happened? Rishal. Uh, so uh, yes, uh, so those five steps action I already been mentioned before. Uh, so those five uh, steps uh, is it means that we uh, taking an opportunity working with the account managers uh, on the. On the request that uh, the opportunity that, that comes for our account manager, and we're expecting uh, the person uh, to provide uh, as much as possible information uh, from the first communication with the client. The second uh, stage is when uh, I hit, I hit uh, when the free uh, solution sells, and uh, me going uh, meeting the customer to get uh, some audition done it and get technical, um, to get technical. Uh, requirements uh, uh, for the next stage. The third stage is uh, where architecture and vendor um, uh, work together to uh, build uh, some prototype pr proposal of the, of the solutions and also show what we have um, uh, for, for the specific uh, request that we, we got from the second stage. And the fourth stage is the where we are actually uh, uh, doing the final proposal uh, with the concept of uh, of delivery, uh, where pilot and POC can be implemented as well uh, and discuss it uh, uh, the possibilities uh, or if the customer would like we really going into production mode. Um, the closing stage uh, is uh, adjusting a pro uh, proposal, uh, discussing uh, the implementations of the POC or pilot and uh, also uh, getting the final requirements for proceed further. Also, uh, in, in, the, in the case of, uh, let's say, uh, AI ML, uh, we, are, can, we can close this uh, implementations by ourselves. So um, uh, the team of software of softline development team where we have also resources can be used for, for, for alternative uh, uh, backup if, if it's required. Um, and, uh, Thank you very much. Uh, as, as as probably you see, we have uh, a lot of capabilities, and uh, you know we have another two uh, probably probably big topics as well that 
that we haven't provided yet, but uh, please be in mind that we also have a, a VR ER uh, topic uh, that is very interested uh, and has a very big uh, demand uh, from customers uh, in manufacturing, in uh, education sector, pharma, and etc. So basically, the, most of those customers are requesting um, uh, VR trainings uh, for for the for the VR AR trainings for for the employees um, in the big data uh, team as well. Uh, we have uh, you know we can build the data warehouse, data lake, and etc. So um, if you don't have any questions regarding AI ML um, projects and etc. or or you will you would like to ask them later on, please do not hesitate to contact me. Um, and I will uh, I will help you as much as possible with any, anything that you need. Um, and I'm pleased to have you today on my workshops. And uh, I, I'm looking forward to work with you and cooperate uh, on 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 the on the great uh, projects that we can implement together. Thank you very much, and uh, stay in touch. And please uh, uh, be in mind that uh, uh, I will be reaching you a few of you later on to to go and see what what we can do together. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Have a good weekend. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Thank you. Thank you all. Thanks. Bye.